nutrition outline introduction macronutrients energy feeding micronutrients minerals introduction during the growing years between infancy and adolescence adequate nutrition is of utmost importance child's diet will not only support their normal growth and development but also supports their immune system and develops lifelong eating habits food is composed of nutrients namely carbohydrates proteins fats minerals vitamins and fiber nutrients are divided into macronutrients which are required in large quantities carbohydrates proteins and fats and micronutrients which are required in little quantities minerals vitamins macronutrients carbohydrates maximum bulk 55 to 60% of calories energy needs to be obtained from carbohydrates in fact the balance of the calories needed after meeting the needs of proteins and fats is provided by this constituent carbohydrates are of two types simple complex fiber a constituent of plant cell is important for normal functioning of the git important fiber containing foods include cereals fruits vegetables and dried beans proteins proteins of animal origin are termed biologically complete proteins proteins of vegetable origin are usually biological incomplete since they lack one or more of the essential amino acids biologic value is defined as the fraction of absorbed nitrogen retained in the body for growth or maintenance it is 100 for egg protein which is regarded as the reference protein fats fats constitute concentrated energy giving element thereby enhancing the calories without much increase in bulk depending on the length of the carbon fatty acid may be short chained medium chained long chained depending on the saturation triglycerides may be saturated unsaturated monounsaturated and polyunsaturated energy calorie or energy requirement varies from age to age on an average 50% of calories should come from carbohydrates 35% from fats and 15% from protein daily calorie requirement of infants age range months requirement calorie per kilogram 0 to 3 months 120 3 to 6 months 115 6 to 9 months 110 9 to 12 months 105 daily requirement for calories age range years requirement k calorie per kilogram under 1 average 110 1 to 3 100 4 to 6 90 7 to 9 80 10 to 12 70 13 to 15 60 16 to 19 50 adult 40 feeding breast feeding human milk is decidedly superior to other milks exclusive breastfeeding deserves encouragement at least for first 6 months and preferably for up to 2 years when it is felt that the mother may not be able to supply enough of proteins from outside one should be allowed to continue to breastfeed her baby even longer advantages of human milk it is always fresh pure and ready made requiring no preparations it is uncontaminated 
and aseptic. It protects baby from some forms of allergies. Immunoprotection. Human milk protects against certain diseases. Breastfeeding establishes healthy mother-child relationship. Breastfeeding should be initiated as early as possible, preferably within half an hour of birth. The adequacy of milk supply is indicated by A. Baby sleep for 2 to 4 hours after the feed and B. Gains weight satisfactorily. Proper breastfeeding technique should be taught to the mother. In the case of a working mother, her expressed milk can be spoon-fed to the baby in her absence. In order to kick out the swallowed air, the act of nursing should be followed by burping. The most reliable criterion of adequate supply of breast milk and growth of the baby is the weight gain. Complementary feeding The term weaning means to be taken off the breasts or introduction to top feed. Definition Complementary feeding is introduction of nutritious foods over and above breastfeeding. These energy-dense foods should be affordable, easily available and well-tolerated. Recommended age Six months of age is the most appropriate time for introducing complementary feeding, whereas delayed introduction of complementary foods is known to cause malnutrition and growth retardation Premature introduction of such foods exposes to the risk of infections and the resultant morbidity and mortality. Attributes of an ideal complementary food Homemade Fresh and hygienic Palatable Culturally acceptable Energy dense Feeding the low birth weight LBW Infant Feeding problems of the LBW infant. Excessive crying. High frequency of suckling difficulties. Incoordination between suckling and swallowing. Regurgitation since the gastroesophageal sphincter is lax. Poor tolerance for saturated fatty acids. Method of feeding a low birth weight infant Breastfeeding Gavage tube feeding Intermittent feeding Continuous feeding Intragastric drip Pallidy or Katori spoon feeding Expressed breast milk EBM Micronutrients Vitamins Classification Water soluble, vitamins B complex and C. Fat soluble, vitamins A, D, E, and K. Water soluble vitamins are not stored in body in any appreciable quantity. Their excessive consumption causes no particular toxicity, the surplus being excreted. Fat soluble vitamins are stored in liver and their excessive consumption may cause toxicity. Vitamin A Deficiency, VAD It is concerned with the maintenance of epithelial tissue in the body, especially that of eye, skin and mucous membrane. Ocular, night blindness, conjunctival exorosis, keratomalacia, panophthalmitis, extraocular, dry, scaly skin, called follicular, Hyperkeratosis, hypertrophy or even atrophy of tongue, growth failure, thiamine deficiency. Thiamine deficiency leads to the disease beriberi. The earliest symptoms include restlessness, bouts of excessive crying, vomiting, abdominal distension. It occurs in three forms acute cardiac form. Wet berry berry, chronic neurologic form, dry berry berry, meningitic form. Treatment 10 mg of thiamine intravenously. In the subsequent 3 days, 
he should be given 10 mg of the vitamin intramuscularly twice daily. Over the next 6 weeks, 10 mg daily should be administered orally. Nicotinic acid deficiency Involved in the carbohydrate metabolism and plays vital role in the functioning of the skin, gastrointestinal tract, central nervous system and hemopoietic system. The disease is called pellagra, occurs in children of school-going age. The three characteristic manifestations are diarrhea, dementia and dermatitis. Treatment Nicotinamide 50 to 300 mg daily in divided doses orally given for two weeks followed by adequate supply of B-complex vitamins in diet. Vitamin C Deficiency Deficiency of vitamin C, though quite common in its subclinical form, scurvy occurs usually in infants between the age of 6 months to 2 years. Infantile scurvy is characterized by gross irritability, excessive crying and tenderness to touch, more so in the lower limbs. Scorbutic rosary may result from posterior displacement of the sternum. Childhood scurvy presents as follicular hyperkeratosis. Treatment It consists in giving a loading dose of 500 mg of vitamin C followed by a daily dose of 100 to 300 mg for several weeks. Oral administration is good enough. Vitamin D deficiency Rickets is a disease of rapid growing period. The peak incidence is encountered in the age group 6 months to 2 years. Major signs are seen in head, teeth, spine and limbs. Treatment Administering a single massive dose of vitamin D3, 300,000 units up to 1 year of age, 600,000 units for later ages, orally or intramuscularly, together with supplementary calcium and phosphorus. Refractory rickets The term refractory rickets refers to rickets that is resistant to the usually recommended doses of vitamin D. Treatment varies with the etiologic diagnosis. In general, vitamin D resistant rickets needs high doses of vitamin D, 2000 units per day, till bony maturation is complete. Vitamin K Deficiency Vitamin K is concerned with synthesis of coagulation factors 2, 7, 9 and 10 in the liver. Deficiency of vitamin K may occur in the following situations. Newborns before adequate colonization of the intestines by bacterial flora. Chronic intestinal parasitosis. Malabsorption states. Oral antibiotics. The commonest manifestation of vitamin K deficiency is what is known as the hemorrhagic disease of the newborn. Therapy consists of blood transfusion and parenteral administration of vitamin K 2 to 5 mg. Minerals. The term micronutrients denotes substances which are needed by the body in minute quantities. Zinc deficiency. It plays a vital role in protein synthesis and RNA. Daily requirement is some 200 mcg. Clinical manifestations include growth retardation, hypogonadism, anemia, hepatosplenomegaly, protracted diarrhea, delayed wound healing, impaired taste perception, infantile tremor syndrome. Treatment of zinc deficiency consists in giving zinc sulfate 0.2 to 1 mg of elemental or 1 to 5 mg of the salt as such per kilogram body weight per day. Copper deficiency Deficiency may be encountered in Protein energy malnutrition 
malabsorption states chronic diarrheal disease deficiency of copper manifests as anemia neutropenia osteoporosis deficient immune function excess of copper is associated with wilson disease indian childhood cirrhosis iodine deficiency enlargement of thyroid is the most important manifestation subclinical deficiency of iodine may manifest in the form of goiter only at puberty or confining to the periods of stress the public health importance of goiter lies in the high incidence of deaf mutism mental retardation ataxia and spasticity in the endemic areas availability of iodized salt common salt fortified with sodium or potassium iodate in a ratio of 1 in 40000 is the most economic convenient and effective means of mass prophylaxis in endemic areas magnesium deficiency requirements are first 6 months 40 mg per day second 6 months 60 mg per day later 200 to 300 mg per day pem diarrheal disease malabsorption syndrome chronic renal failure clinical features number 1 irritability number 2 tetany number 3 increased or decreased reflexes potassium deficiency its functions include excitability of nerve and muscle tissue contractibility of cardiac skeletal and smooth muscles maintenance of cell volume intracellular hyperkalemia causes aldosterone production which acts on the distal convoluted tubules thereby facilitating reabsorption of sodium this leads to potassium excretion 